But uh, tonight, um, it has been a little while, and um, we have not quite wrapped up the final piece of dealing with uh, building through prayer and the partner to prayer, which we were talking about, uh, dealing with fasting. And uh, there is one last little section that we need to wrap up, and tonight I want to do that. And, uh, and since um, the preacher this morning went a little um, in excess because it had been a while since he preached, um, I'm going to make sure the preacher tonight um, stays within a better time frame. But, um, but we do want to finish up our thought and, and be able to move on to something else of the Lord. I have several different um, subjects, different things that I believe we need to look at. The question is, which one are we supposed to look at next? And so we'll, uh, Lord willing, we'll have that figured out by next Sunday. But um, tonight, we're going to wrap this up by uh, going to Mark chapter 9, if you would. <coughs> Mark chapter 9. And um, we are going to look at this passage of Scripture once more in uh, the area of fasting, which is the, I believe, uh, we, as we presented, the partner to prayer, and uh, not to be done as just a ritual, but something to be done based off of the leading of the Holy Spirit for a particular purpose. And, uh, and we're going to look uh, this evening at more of the, um, to a degree, more of the, uh, the elements of fasting and, uh, and, and just something to keep in mind as we look at this all-important um, process of adding to our prayer time a, a fasting area that, uh, that the Lord might lead in I individuals' lives to do so uh, for different reasons.